<laughs> so we met Heather and Phil, didn't yes, we, we, earlier did. on? Shall we bring on some more contestants? Come on, man. Alan, take it away. Dancing the Charleston, Anna Kennedy and Robin Windsor. Welcome. Oh, oh my eyes, my eyes. Anna and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Lovely to have you with oh, us. Thank you. Now, Anna, you are a self-confessed Strictly fan. I'm afraid I am, yes. So tell us about the big moment when you found out that you'd be part of the People Strictly. I've been trying to get tickets for Strictly for years and you just can't get them. They're like gold dust. So my sister said that she'd won two tickets to Strictly. I was beside myself. And when we arrived, we sat down and I hey, thought... Are we watching you? You're... Oh, she's got really good seats here. And then everybody um, started looking at me and clapping and I didn't understand <laughs> what was going on. And then uh, Jake Wood was stood by me and said, Anna, um, I'm your mentor. And it was just all a big blur <laughs> after that. I was just like... And then the next day I had a massive headache because it was just like trying to process the information. But just like, I am loving every minute of it. Oh, I just no. love it. I'm definitely in the Strictly bubble. Good for you. Well, listen, Brilliant. you are very, very deserved of this because you spend not only all your time thinking about your own two boys who have autism, but so many of the pupils. Because you, you've set up this school, which has become the largest school for, in the UK, hasn't it, for, for children yeah, with autism? Yeah, in 1999, my boys were really struggling to try and find the right type of school for them. They were at home. We just couldn't find anything. So we decided to set up our own school. And I thought, how hard can it be? <laughs> 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 so uh, it's... It's amazing. It's the best thing I've ever done, apart from Strictly, obviously. And, um, yeah, and we've opened another school and a college and a residential home. Mm. And then we have a charity that supports families across the United Kingdom. And we put on um, fashion shows to pamper mums and dads. And we also um, do Autism's Got Talent, which is 20 acts from across the country that have wow factor talent that are children and adults with autism. And it's a fantastic show. Sounds well, it. Yeah, it's amazing. Time, time. Time. I know. Exactly. <laughs> and Robin, you're putting her through your paces, through her paces with the Charleston, the fastest ever, apparently. I've thrown everything in this bar, the kitchen sink, and um, Anna sleeps about three hours a night with her boys, and um, she comes in and completely exhausts me. But I've got to say, I've seen part of this first episode, and it's going to be the ultimate feel-good Strictly. You get your tissues ready, because you'll laugh, you'll cry, and you'll have every emotion in between. It's going to be amazing. And nice to have you back <laughs> as well. Uh, it yeah. is. Lovely to see you. Uh, now, Alan Dedicote, back at that voiceover, Mike. Dancing gonna... the Jive. Trishna Baradia and Aliash Skorianitz. <laughs> Oh, Trishna. Oh, oh, Trishna, you are the envy of every woman. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, absolutely oh. brilliant, yeah. <laughs> and how are you finding all of this? How is the training going? Because you have multiple sclerosis, don't you? So, I mean, that yes. cannot be easy for you. Yeah, no, I was diagnosed with MS in 2008. Mm -hmm. I was 28 at the time. And, um, yeah, we've just paced training. Um, yeah. I think it helped... I, I'm enjoying it so much. It's just absolutely brilliant. But there you are, you're doing the jive, and Aliash, that is no <laughs> easy dance, is it? No, it's probably one of the hardest dances when it gets to physicality, so yeah. we make sure we have enough breaks, and we're just really pacing it, yeah. But it's going really good. Love it, love it. I was going to say, you could have made it a lot easier. Anyway, uh, listen, uh, Robin, I just want to say very quickly that I, I think about you quite often, you know. Oh, really? Every time, <laughs> I, go, every time I go to my sock drawer, because during Strictly, they wash all of your clothes together, and I've, I've still got your socks, right? And I'm not kidding, because if you have a look there, look... <laughs> <laughs> we've got a little tag on here, so I'll... Uh, you thief, I'll Matt take Bingham. these off, mate. You can, you can have <laughs> a bag on now. Oh, that is... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, listen, that's best of luck to everybody. <laughs> yes, and the People Strictly for Comic Relief begins tonight <laughs> no, at 9 o'clock on BBC One, straight after the Bake, Shop, uh, bake Off. It's a big night on BBC One. Right, uh, still to come, more dance. We're going to have a bit of a dance-off later on, if you fancy it, because we have got the all-new Lord of the Dance, so do stay tuned for that. They're going to be outside, dancing away, making a right, uh, noise in the piazza. Well,